Well, Cam, it's been a, it's, Cam, it's been a minute since you played. Um, how are you feeling going in go, going into tonight? Obviously, you know, looks like you've been cleared to go. So, uh, how much are you looking forward to playing, even if it's in limited minutes? I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I feel great right now, um, and, and I'm ready to get out there tonight. What what was I mean? It was described as sort of the, what was what was hindering you, or what were you not able to do, or was this just a rest thing? How, how, how do you view it in terms of uh, you know the time you were out? Um, just trying to fix some things, uh, make sure some things don't linger into the season. Uh, it's a long season with a lot of games um, in close proximity to themselves. So just trying to get myself, you know, put myself in the best position possible going forward, and uh, making sure I'm I'm at 100% heading into this. All right, next up is Kellen Olson with Arizona Sports. Hey, Cam, uh, this is a little bit of off topic, but when we talked to you about Chris last week, you mentioned watching him in college at Wake Forest. And I know the rivalry is there with UNC. Do you have any stories specifically watching Chris in college or anything that uh, you remember from uh, going to Wake Forest, hearing about him and what he did there? Um, anything specific there with the North Carolina ties? Um, no, nothing, nothing too specific there. Uh, no stories really from when he was playing and when we played against them. Um, they haven't, they haven't been, you know, quite as good as they were when he was there. Yeah. So the games we had against them weren't, weren't quite the same. Um, but you know, just being in North Carolina, he's a North Carolina guy, and a lot of guys on my team play for his CP, uh, CP3 AU team and stuff like that. So a lot of guys that I played with have connections to him. So that's probably the biggest thing right there. Thanks, Cam. All right, next up, we're going to have Dwayne Rankin with the Arizona Republic. Cam, when you when you look at, you know, the games that you haven't played, what, what are you seeing with the team that you like and what are you seeing that are things that, you know, you want to improve upon going to open up? Um, I think just really the biggest thing to improve upon right now is just getting everybody on the same page. I mean, we do have a lot of new faces and there's a lot of veteran guys, so they're, they're picking this stuff up quick. And I think we're looking better day by day. And then getting getting that juice, getting that high level um, intensity. But I really, I mean, I just think we got really good players. Um, I think individually got really good players, and as that continues to to come together in, in our whole you know group as a team, um, I think the results gonna be pretty good. And just to just to follow that up, uh, what what things in terms of looking at you know, coaches said that the guys that returned are you know were ahead of the of the guys that's been added. What are the things that you're seeing in practice that the new guys are or now picking up as opposed to maybe earlier in camp? Well, when you're learning new plays and everything, there's like a moment of hesitation. It's, do I do this? Do I do that? And a lot of our offense, whether, you know, be our transition or whatever it may be, is just kind of playing on feel and constant movement. And when you're thinking a lot, um, it slows you down a little bit. And so guys who are picking it up now, doing great, um, you just see that flow um, and that constant movement is, is, is coming along a lot better. Miss Cam, good luck tonight. Thank you. Next up, we have Brendan Clean with Bright Side of the Sun, followed by Gina Mizell. Hey, Cam, when we've talked to Monty about integrating a playbook and just the process of training camp, he's kind of talked about how he thinks having some guys in their second, third seasons with the team and second season with him has helped you guys maybe not be so far behind with the condensed camp. So as one of those guys, I'm curious if you've noticed that and what kind of the uh, benefits of that continuity are from your perspective. I was big benefits um, just because everything is so condensed right now, as you said, just having the knowledge of, of everything that coach wants and then how we want to play and then just the plays themselves, I think gives, gives us guys that are, are coming back a huge bump and a huge um, step ahead in terms of just know, know what to expect and know what we want. But, you know, it's the NBA, it's our profession. Um, so guys that are coming back from last year's team, new guys are like, we're going to step in and, and, and learn it quick and, and get ready for the season. And then one more for you. I'm curious, now that Jay's been on the floor um, more consistently played in that last game, if there's anything you've been able to, to, to glean from watching him get out there for the first time in terms of how you can impact the game, watching what he does, and just kind of seeing how he operates. Um, it's a process. It's a slow and steady process. So it's not going to be, you know, I watch one game and I, and I pick up something solid. Um, just kind of seeing the way he plays, seeing what he brings to the table and where he's successful. Um, and, and, and what he's made for himself in this league is what's going to kind of rub off, you know, osmosis on down to me. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to continuing to learn from everybody um, and just getting better as the season progresses. Thanks again. Thank you, guys. All right, next up is Gina Mizell with Suns.com. 
Hey, Cam, just sort of building off the topic of, of meshing the guys that were here last year with the new players, just Monty's been really adamant that the players are the ones who have to, you know, set the culture or set the expectations within the group. So how have you guys gone about doing that, whether it's in practice in a game just over the past couple of weeks, how have you sort of tried to, to do that as the guys that were here before? Um, just talking to each other, figuring it out, keeping the energy high. Um, a lot of little things. Um, we, we spend time together, you know, off the court as much as we can. I think we've done a pretty good job of that and just getting to know each other. Um, it's like, like we said before, everything's just so condensed, so, so shortened. Um, so it's a lot to figure out in a short amount of time. And, and I think we're doing a good job of that. What have you guys done off the court to maybe get to know each other? Any, any cool stories uh, from that perspective? Nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, just dinners, um, maybe watching a fight, doing something, doing this, doing that, um, eating together, regular things.